Hey everybody! Thank dog, it's Friday! I'm so excited about today's uh, little craft that we're going to be putting together. Uh, we're going to uh, create a floppy dog Easter basket liner and I'm super super excited about it. I can't wait. Let's see, it looks like Hillary's ready to join. Let me bring her along and pick up your feet and relax. We're going to have some fun. This is going to be a really cute project for your, your puppy dogs for Easter. I can't wait to get started with Hillary. This will be a lot of fun. Okay, looks like she's coming on. All right. Hey, Hillary. Hi there. Hi. Hi, Hillary. Doing How are you doing great. Today? How about you? Doing well, doing well. Do you hear me okay? Are you excited to put together? Okay, oh, sure. Good, good. Yeah, I can. I can. There's a, a little bit of a slide. I can hear you. Okay, slide. good. All right, sorry. <laughs> okay, great. I was just going to ask, are you excited to put together a little floppy dog Easter basket? I am, I am. This are, these ones are turning out really cute and fun, and they're easier than at first they appear. So <laughs> I'm excited about this one. <laughs> 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 this one just kind of came out of thin air, so um, we're just going to kind of wing it today. Um, um, Hillary decided to go ahead and do two of them, so she got a leg up on me. I um, I haven't made one yet, so I'm glad they're easier <laughs> than they sound. That's, that's great news. That's great news. Um, so I guess pretty much what we'll need to do is kind of talk about the all the ingredients, sure. right? Um, so first thing you need is is obviously a basket um i just grabbed this at the local grocery store they have a whole easter section there i, I got most of my well a few of my supplies there from that section what kind of basket did i you actually got getting? a really similar one so same oh okay. yeah oh, okay. and i got mine at target oh, but uh i know they have not this type exactly but the dollar store or you know pretty much any any of those type of department stores, things like that, where you can find Walmart anywhere, you can find some some pretty inexpensive yeah. baskets. And you can spend as much or as little as you want. There were some baskets there. I think there were like two dollars. I ended up splurging and getting a nice one, a little nicer one. This one was ten dollars. Um, you really don't have to spend that for this project at all. Uh, but I just liked the the how plain kind of the the wood texture of it. I just like the the size and the shape. It looked kind of neat. Um, cause we're going to create a little doggy face on here. And that's what, kind of, that's what you're thinking of when you go looking for a basket. Um, all right. And then the next ingredients that you'll need are, uh, some hand towels and wash oh, a hand towel and some washcloths, which is kind of crazy, but this is what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to try and make a little basket liner out of this. And the, the goal for your hand towel is that it just needs to be, so the tip need, is that it just needs to be big enough to fit in the basket and hang over the edges. Yeah, Hillary's got a good, so as long as it can hang over the edges by a few inches, um, that's really all you're looking for. So you could probably get away with maybe a kitchen towel. If your basket is bigger, you could use a bath towel or, or cut a bath towel down to fit to size. Um, this one, I just wanted no measuring, no sewing. <laughs> quick and easy, um, kind of a no-brainer kind of project that's really fun to do at the last yep. minute, right? This is something, you know, there's just a couple days away, just wanted to make something that was really super fun and fast and easy to make. So so that's the, the tip for, for getting a hand towel or a towel for the, for the liner, kind of the base of the liner that we're going to make. And then just two other washcloths, two small cloths, um, that I, I got for, uh, that are going to be the ears. It's going to be the front and the back. So the, um, the ears are going to be two colors, two toned, um, and it'll be the front and the back of each ear will be, uh, one, uh, one part of the washcloth, uh, and, and the other. Um, if you want, right, you can, you can use other material. For yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to show, uh, the example that I'm doing today is, a different material for the ears, but I do have a couple tips on when I was creating the first one. I have a couple tips on the washcloth, um, at least for me. So this, I have my dark washcloth and then the light washcloth on the inside here. The light washcloth okay. is a cheaper, thinner variety. That for me okay. worked much better. So the 
the only washcloth that they really had at the place where I got this one. It's a really yeah. fluffy washcloth. And so after okay. you cut it out, it was just fluff everywhere. Now, I, if you right. throw it in the wash a couple times, maybe it would have got a little better. So if you can get one that's a less dense washcloth, but I'll also show you on the one that I've created, um, what I did, uh, it's a little bit different technique than what you're going to talk about for yours. So, okay. but okay. I would recommend if you can, kind of the thinner, uh, less super textured washcloths work a little bit better. Right. Right. And mine, I think, are kind of a medium. They weren't the, the least expensive or the thinnest ones, but they weren't the thick, real plush ones. It was kind of a, a real inexpensive washcloth, but it still had, to me, it had a, a nice little yep. fluff for softness to it. Um, so mine does have a little bit of, uh, of um, you know, kind of um, terry cloth dust, yeah. if you were, as it were. <laughs> cut it um but it's not too bad um you know when when you go to put the put the ear together and i'm super excited to hear what other technique yep. that you've come up with as well because it's not these can be done in any which way yep. right these are just we're just giving you the idea um everybody we're just given ideas so whatever works for you you can use um you know a darker washcloth right now i'm kind of making kind of a beagle mm -hmm. or a basset kind of look um with the white kind of face but you can do um, a darker color, a dark brown or a black, depending on, oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> this is sort of the Leon the version dope. of the, so my black <laughs> and tan dachshund. So this was, I sort of made it oh, to, to okay. match him. And you can see the ears here are the two-toned as well. Awesome. That is so precious. How adorable is that? I just love that. So cute. So, so cute. All right, so then um, the other things you're going to need are some pieces of felt to make the face. And then um, some, I'm using some needle and thread, but you don't have to. You can, uh, there are other techniques yep. uh, to connect the, the ear pieces together. You can either use fabric glue or um, you don't have to use two pieces. Um, you got so that's what I did on that black and tan one. Uh, just spray checked both edges and then hot glued it together and then hot glued it right. on the basket. It worked pretty well. You have to use a fair amount because it's a fairly thick fabric. So you have to use a fair amount yeah. of spray check around the edge, but once it dries, it really does. It's a little bit crunchy, but it doesn't, it didn't misshape it too much. So just wait for it to dry, then glue it together and then glue it onto the basket. Yeah. And I, I think there is a yep. fabric glue too. So instead of two steps, with the fray check and the hot glue, you can get a fabric glue that would, yep. would glue them together, which is, well. I tried the hot glue. It just, it felt yep. too crunchy for me. I didn't fray check because so that meant I used a lot more hot glue. Um, and then I just decided, you know, a little, just a little needle and thread. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much time at all. Um, but I know some people are kind of scared of hand <laughs> sewing. So, <laughs> but this is, the stitches don't show. Yep. You can make any mistakes and this don't have to be perfect. So that's part of the reason why I just turned to needle and thread. Um, and then um, just a little bit of ribbon. Mm -hmm. So whatever little leftover ribbon you have um, laying around, we'll use a little bit of yeah. that to kind of add a little, a little Maybe touch. Yeah. To the small bows. Yeah. To the basket. All right. So to get started, um, basically the first thing you want to do is, is cut out all the, uh, the faces, the face pieces. Actually, right? or did you want to start? I think it's important. So for me, when I was creating it, I think it's important to place the towel, even if you don't glue it down, place the towel in your basket right. so that you can see how much space, because you tend to think if you just right. start with the cutting, you think it's a lot bigger than this actual space really is. So it's important to kind of space out, okay, how big do I need to make the eyes, nose, mouth, the different points? Yeah. So that's, I think it's important just to place it on there so that you can have a little frame of reference and then you can start right. cutting your pieces out, place them on there, see how they're, not glue them, but just place it to see how big it's gonna be. Right. For me, it was easier to glue everything flat on this on the surface uh on my towel but i think you're right i think one of the things that i did do is um put the towel in the basket and yep. see how much room i've got so that was that was key for me and it depends on your basket All but right. you can kind of see like what's the front so if you see where your where your handle is what's the front and kind of figuring out okay my nose needs to be kind of centered on this spot I think it's a little bit easier for placement purposes, so. 
Yeah, I just really just kind of took the middle of the towel and that's where, okay. you know, that's where the nose went, worked, worked my way out. But yeah, whatever yep. works best for you, um, for anybody that's watching. So um, really, it's just a, a simple, there's really no mistakes, but it is good to know kind of how much space you're working with and where you want to kind of place yep. things as, as well. Um, so then really just cutting out the, the shapes is what I started kind of the first real thing you start with. Um, so I've got, I've got a, an eye, mine is going to look, mine's going to have a, a lighter background and, a, and then a darker uh, spot on top. And that's going to be behind one of the eyes. So that's what I'm going to So, take. And really just mine is going to be um, kind of a basset shape. So she's got kind of a T of brown a T oh. of white in the middle of two brown spots. So I have my first one kind of measured out uh, here. I'm going to just okay. put this on top of another one to cut it out to make sure that they're similar. You're going all out. You're really doing your fancy design stuff, which will be really sweet. Obviously, the more detail, the more love you put into it, the better it's going to look. Now, this isn't a circle. This is, you kind of want to make it a little fun, funky, you know, oblong shape, um, oval, circle-ish kind of shape, N not a true circle. And then I just want to make the next piece a little bit smaller and maybe a little, maybe a little rounder. Here are mine. I'm going to start gluing these down so that I can kind of show it a little okay. bit easier. Sure. But we're just, we're kind of mimicking the markings of your dog coat on, on, on their face. And it really is so. just a, a, sort of to give you the idea, don't, don't, overthink it don't try to make it too perfect it's just like okay right. similar right. colors similar you know you'll get the picture of it of exactly. what you're trying to do all right i'm just cutting this one down a little bit more i want to be able to see a little more of the of the brown So that's kind of what I've got so far. I can play around with that a little bit more, but that's what I'm working with for now. Then I'm just going to cut out um, some circles for eyes. And then, uh, then the last piece will be the nose. And I just put the glue on the wrong side of the piece that I was working on. <laughs> so I get to cut a new one. Aww. And unfortunately, I'm <laughs> out of, so this side's going to be a little smaller. So. <laughs> That's all right. There's really, you know, I, this is so funny. This is a story I haven't told many people. When I was a little, little kid, I, um, I took an art class with my mom it was an adult art class and um, it was a painting class and I was comparing myself to all the adults. I was maybe, I don't know, 10 or 12 years old. And I was comparing myself to all the adults who like, even if you're not a good artist as an adult, you can draw a dot <laughs> or you can draw a better than a kid can. So I'm like comparing all of my stuff to all of these bigger grownups in the room and this little old jerk art teacher comes walking up to me and he saw that I was kind of frumpy and not feeling all that great about what I was doing. And he said, you know what? There's no such thing as a mistake when yeah. you're making art. You just kind of go with it. You work with what you got there. And I thought, oh, okay. That, I, can, I can work with that. <laughs> I can work with that idea. Yeah, it's that sort of... Happy accidents, Bob Ross type of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly.
it's freeing when you know that, you know, there really isn't, you can't really get it wrong. And I love this, the fact that it's homemade, that, you know, it's got a little character and quirkiness about it. Um, you know, it's not manufactured, mass manufactured, all that good yeah. stuff. All right. I'm going to lay out my, so for me, it was just easier to glue the face down. Um, on a flat surface. The other trick or tip, I guess, um, was that if you get a, a, a towel, um, a lot of them have stripes mm -hmm. across the bottom, even if it's a solid color, um, just the banding or whatever. You kind of want to avoid that if you can. Now, there will be some bit of a design. You can see at the bottom yeah. of mine, there's a little bit of a different texture um, and Hillary's as well. Kind of at the top uh, here. But try to avoid a, a bunch of stripes. Some of them have two or three stripes. That will kind of get a little bit in the way um, of, the, of the face that you're making. So. so these are sort of my markings. I'm going to add on my eyes and you'll start to see it come together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That'd be great. These are fun because they're all different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can customize them for your dog, which is really sweet. You can make these for friends or family that have pets. I mean, what a great, fun Easter gift. And the doggies always tend to get overlooked, right? They don't, they don't get to do the hide and seek with all the eggs. So this is a bring them in on all the Easter fun. You can also have your kids help you. You could use construction paper instead of felt or, you know, like sky's the limit on how to create them. And you could just put the face directly onto the basket rather than, you know, having it lined or right. something like that. Right. That's a great idea. So I'm just gluing my towel down to make it a little easier. I'm, I'm gluing my face here. And then for the nose, I just made, you can just make a little heart, a little heart shape. I think a heart shape is a, it's an easy nose, an easy nose shape to make. And it's quite endearing. It's adorable. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. So here's my Here's my face so far. Oh, oh it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm gonna tuck I'm gonna tuck this in the in the basket here. So basically you just wanna tuck it around so that the handle is can get up and can you can use the handle and can go up and down and I'll Turn this around a little bit so that they can see what I'm doing. And then just kind of make sure that you've got this evenly, the, the what's hanging over is evenly distributed across the front and the back. And it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be close. That's all you need. It's very forgiving. So you can, you know, yeah. just kind of mush that the excess towel down in the bottom there you don't have to have it all on the inside you don't have to have it all perfect folds or anything like that yeah no really easy so so I've got I think I've got it pretty much set where I want it a few last little adjustments here but you can see uh kind of going around I'm going to cut my little tag here off on the back So that doesn't hang down. But you can see this is where I've got my basket show you on the inside. So it can be a little a little messy. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. So this is oh. my little Lulu version. So she's my basset. And love. and rather than doing I like the washcloths for the ears, I'm using felt this time. So yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. I might have to put little white 
sparkles in her in her eyes. So I like how that how that works. Yeah, and on Leon's because it was a black washcloth, I put the white kind of white larger circles behind his eyes just to give him a little bit of pop because otherwise they get kind of lost understand. in the background there. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. How cute. How cute. All right. So I'm going to do my ears next. Hillary, you're you're cutting just a longer Why don't you explain what you're doing for your so ears? So here, let me tip this down a little bit more so you can see. Um, so here I have her face on the basket. And then all I did was take a long section of the felt. And that's what I'm going to use. And they kind of hang, because she's a basset, they hang past the, yeah. the basket. <laughs> so I love it. So that's it. I, and, I and the edge here where you see it's straight, uh, the ear covers yeah. will cover that a yep. bit. So, yeah, exactly. Oh, perfect! How adorable! And they'd be a little bit oh, cuter, so I think, if I had pink felt to double side these. I don't have any pink yep. felt, so yep. we're going without. But if you if you did <laughs> or if you wanted to, you could definitely double side these. I think that that makes it a little thicker and makes it a little, you know, gives that little extra detail. Not that much extra work, but you know, adds a little bit of pizzazz. So, I love that. I love that idea. Yeah, and it's so funny that your Tatum face is is a nice big basset pound face, and mine's just a little <laughs> that's, clover that's, face. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely have their personality. Like, it's amazing how <laughs> it's just a rough estimate of what the dog is, but yeah. in your mind, they automatically have the personality. <laughs> yeah. Yep, exactly, exactly. I've got my cute little tiny clover face. Um, all right, so so for the ears, if you want to use the washcloth technique, uh, basically what I do, you can see the tag, I put the wrong sides out uh, for the washcloth so that the right sides, it doesn't really matter, but so that the right sides are together. And then I'm going to cut... Um, I'm going to cut two ears. I'll take my tag off both sides. And you're going to be done. <laughs> I got to have one ear done, so I'm just I'm just going to make another one. All right. I'm going to roughly get it to the same. And you doubled your fabric over to cut it, which I thought was an interesting your yes. washcloths, you them to get them so that they were the yep, same. Yep, I thought that it That's made it a little bit easier. You need some sharp scissors, obviously, depending on the heftiness of the washcloth, but uh, it makes right. it makes it certain that they're actually all going to be the same size, so that was helpful. Yeah, that's a good point. Good tip. And if one ear is a little longer than the other, or a little wider than the other, it's fine too. But again, there's really no no right or wrong, but there's there's some easy techniques to help help you out, and that's a really good one so that they match. And it's really forgiving once you place it on kind of that rounded surface, so you're not going to see oh, they're not exactly yeah. even, or they're not exactly the same width. It doesn't matter. It's going to look, you know, it's going to look really yeah. symmetric once you get it on there. Yeah, so I'm just making my ear shape here. And again, it's just a basic, you know, whatever you think that ear shape should look like. And a, a floppy ear. So, my, Handy dandy needle and thread. And I'm just going to quickly go around the edge here just to secure it together. And I'm not going to I'm not going to secure the top. I'm not going to because I'm going to eventually turn this inside out so that the right sides are on the outside. And I'm just making pretty big stitches. Um, this isn't real close together. I just want to secure them. 
<laughs> oh, look at that sweetheart. <laughs> oh, how cute is that? And I did glue. So right here on the edges, I've just glued the okay. washcloth together. I didn't glue it to the basket, but just glued the washcloth together there. And I'm going to... Yeah, that'll be the next... Yeah. And that just made it a little easy since I was placing mine directly on, gluing it directly on the basket. That made it a little easier so that the, bas the washcloth's not moving around on there, so. Yeah, so the towel yeah. doesn't move while you're trying to place yeah. something. Because, yeah, that's a smart idea. So yeah, so <laughs> the steps for this tutorial, they can yep. go in any order. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to follow them one, two, three, four. <laughs> whatever whatever works best for you and i think i think um obviously i think the fun part of having both of us on is that you know we get to show you different ideas and different ways of doing things yeah. that are there's no no real right or wrong um so so that's neat all right and just on this one I think because I had so many different layered pieces, it made it a little easier, but whatever works for you. So that's, that's definitely key. And if you don't like, one of the things that's kind of nice as you're cutting out your shapes and things, you could, you don't need to go crazy, but you can kind of do a paper version first to get an idea of how they're going to look or trying different things. If you're trying to replicate sort of your dog, trying to figure out, well, how's that going to work? So I did, t I kind of sketched out like, well, what are the parts that are important to kind of give the impression of what type of dog you're trying to, you know, mimic. So that made it a little right. bit easier to, to. Another tip is looking at, um, uh, you can just Google like cartoon, yep. uh, cartoon, um, comic, what am I trying to say? Uh, coloring book. That's it. Coloring book shapes, you know, put in a coloring book, uh, Beagle or coloring book, um, you know, Bassett or whatever, and you'll get all kinds of really simple shapes that you can yeah. kind of mimic um, for, for the face. And I, Diane, I love the idea. She says, what about making a, ho a horsey Easter basket or a donkey? Oh, one? <laughs> that would be adorable. I love, love that idea. I absolutely love that idea. That is so cute. All right. I'm going to try and finish up here. Um, and then obviously when you, when you get them all done, uh, you can fill them with all kinds of fun little treats for your for your pup for Easter, um, even after Easter. Uh, you can keep the basket by your door and keep your leash and collar in it so that you you know it makes it easy to go for walks every day. Uh, you could keep it in the kitchen and just keep it stocked with treats yeah. for your pup. Um, it's really a sweet. It's just a sweet little de home decor item as well. So it's not just for. Not just for Easter. And if you have, so I have different treat vitamins for each of the dogs. So you can kind of have them placed in the, their individual basket if you're making more than one for your, for your dogs. Right, right. Or if you have a pet sitter, that'll yep. make it easy to know which dog, gets what, uh, you know, which collar and leash go to which yep. dog or which treats go to which dog or which medications or whatever that they might need. It's an easy way. Um, it's a great ho uh, housewarming gift yeah. for somebody who has who has a pup. I mean, this this would just be or so adorable. You could fill a new puppy. If somebody people. got a new puppy, like it would be a great way to give them some of the new puppy items that they're going to be needing. So that would be a cute, cute gift. That would be a great idea. A cute little harness mm -hmm. or a little... Uh, little doggy blanket or any of that kind of little stuff. teething so toys cute. or right. something like that that would be so adorable all right so i'm gonna just sew my knot real quick i'm gonna do this really fast so now you you still need to finish the the, the sides right yeah just adding the little uh 
bows to the edges. So I've already tied the bows, but I just need to glue them down. I am going to put Lulu's little toys. And I got a little bit of filler that's just from the dollar store that I'm going to pop in the bottom yep. there. That's what I did too. I So basically what I did with my ear is I, I don't know if you noticed while I was chatting away, um, I actually turned it inside out before I got it, uh, before I sewed it all the way around. Um, and then, uh, then I finished up the, the opening a little bit more before I attached it to the, to the basket. So now I'm just... I got one ear on. I'm just adding the last one. We're almost done. I'm so excited. Can't wait for you to see it. And you can use, um, you don't actually have to do the bow part if you don't want to. I do think it kind of adds a little Easter-y touch to it. So that's why I think it's, it's really cute for the occasion. But I'm just where your basket comes down to the ends. I think I think it finishes it yep. off nicely, yep. you know. I'm sorry, go ahead. You can also um if you wanted to make this removable, you could do um running the ribbon through if you put a little hem on the bottom or something like that where yep. you could change them out or things like that. Bottom glue it there, so you've got the ribbon ends coming off yep. on either side and tie them together if you want. Sorry, I was just being your, your yep, visual no aid problem. there while you were chatting. <laughs> Since mine hadn't been, I'm a little behind. I need more glue. Let me catch it here. Yeah, I'm not going to glue mine to the back of it. I'm just going to glue it together, but I want to see where where they meet. A horsey or donkey would be so cute. Little pointy ears. Oh, that would be so sweet. You could put a little pink tongue on these. You could do all kinds of fun stuff. All right, and there's, just seeing where they meet again. Everybody can see yep. what I'm doing. Can see it. All right, and glue that down, and then I'll get my little ribbon. Oh, look at that! How sweet. And I just got a sweet little ribbon with some spring colors and some little hearts you can you can get one that's dog themed or you can just get solid color whatever you'd like yeah, to mine do. are just pink with little dots on them oh all right trying to make myself a little bow Then I'm going to take my little, some good hot glue there, and glue it on, and there we go, I'll do the other side. All right. This would be a cute gift for um, for your vet oh, yeah. as well, or, or your favorite groomer, you know, if you have a groomer that you love and you want to give them a special treat for taking good care of your pups, that would be a cute, a cute little gift basket. And you don't have to fill it with doggy things. You can fill it with yummy people <laughs> things. <laughs> Yeah, any dog lover I think would love these. Or you know, if you do, if you decide yeah. to do a different animal, really, this you could do bears, you could do mice, you could do whatever you wanted. Uh, 
as your as your basket. So cute. All right. Got my other little bow here. <laughs> I think that one's just adorable. <laughs> and I think covering up, as Hillary said, which is what I was planning on doing too, is just covering up a little bit of that color will make it feel more a little like face. It, you know the face. Yeah, it'll kind of complete the face, which is sweet. I'll just get my little bow here. And put that on. Get some of that stringy glue off, and then I think we're done. So there's that. And let me just quickly fill mine mm -hmm. here so you can see good stuff. And I just got some filler in here. And I just wanted a color that kind of matched. But you can get all kinds of, you can get some really pretty color. And then you can put, you know, a little frisbee or Aww. little toys in it. A little bag of treats, you know, whatever. Whatever you think. There you go. That's adorable. Thanks so much. We just had a lot of fun today. Aren't these just adorable? They're so cute. Um, anyway, thanks for joining us. We can't wait to uh, see you next week, next Friday, for our next Think Dog It's Friday uh, little craft show. And um, if you have any ideas, feel free to share them with us. We'll be happy to give them a try. Um, and in the meantime, I hope everybody has a great rest of the day and you enjoy your weekend and have a happy holiday. And if you do happen to do this particular craft, please share us your, share your photos with us. We would love to see them. Uh, we just love to see what, whatever anybody's creating out there. So that would be fantastic. Absolutely. Thanks everybody. Have a Thank great you. rest of the day. Bye-bye.